In today's video, we're gonna meet a spider-eating moth, a fiercely aggressive aquatic bug, and a giant bee that disappears off the planet every few decades. But first, this humongous beetle has a lethal weapon right in front of its nose. The Titan Beetle. The aptly named Titan Beetle is the largest beetle in the Amazon rainforest and one of the largest insects in the world. In addition to their massive size, they're also known for their tough exoskeletons and powerful mandibles that are strong enough to break a pencil in half. Adult Titan Beetles are known to grow up to 6.5 inches in length and live in the rainforest of Central and South America. When threatened, they let out a loud hissing noise, which wards off most would-be predators. For those that dare to attack, they're known to fight back using the sharp spines on their legs and their strong mandibles. These appendages are able to snap pencils and rulers in half and can even tear through animal flesh. Despite these frightening features, Titan beetles live most of their lives focusing on love instead of war. They're not natural predators, and in fact the males don't eat anything at all. They instead spend their short lifespan looking for a mate by flying around the forest while searching for the female's pheromones. When successful, they create their offspring and then die, not even having time to care for their young. Why they don't use their size and power to hunt remains a mystery. But perhaps the Titan beetle's biggest secret is the rest of its life cycle. Apart from a few adult specimens, no larvae or juveniles of this species have been found or studied. This is why even today, researchers and tourists from around the world flock to the Amazon, hoping to catch a rare glimpse of the massive and mysterious insect. The Tarantula Hawk Spiders are known to prey primarily on insects, including the flying kind. However, the Tarantula Hawk, as the name suggests, has taken a liking to the arachnids and a bit of Animal Kingdom role reversal. And no, this insect is not a hawk, but a really big wasp. True to their name, tarantula hawks can be found wherever there are tarantula spiders. They prefer to live on dry and arid flatlands such as deserts, but are also known to live in rainforests and jungles. Hundreds of species of this insect can be found all around the world, and in all continents but Antarctica. Adult specimens can grow up to 3 inches in length, with even longer wingspans of up to 4 inches. Females also possess a sting about a quarter of an inch in length that contains an extremely potent venom that leaves most spiders paralyzed with a single shot. While not fatal to humans, the sting is described as the most painful in the world, with unlucky first-hand reports describing fiery, electric, and excruciating pain for upwards of 24 hours. Luckily for us, unprovoked attacks on both animals and humans are rare, as the wasp does not typically hunt outside the spider kingdom. Tarantula hawks, like other wasps, are actually nectivores. Adult males and females feed on nectar and pollen from flowers and plants found in their habitat. Tarantulas are only targeted by females looking to breed or feed their offspring. When hunting, they will normally attack wandering spiders, but they've also been known to invade their burrows. Once the wasp spots its target, it captures the arachnid with tiny leg hooks, and this is an attempt to expose the spider's abdomen. A powerful sting delivered to the area causes instant paralysis and allows the wasp to drag the hapless victim's body to its nest. An egg is then laid inside the abdomen, where it hatches inside the still-living spider after a few days. The larva then eats the arachnid's tissues, avoiding major organs to preserve its freshness. Despite its limited and very specific predation habits, most animals also know not to tangle with this insect, as its size and attacking prowess are largely unmatched in its ecosystem. Midas Fly Despite what the name suggests, this fly won't turn what it touches into gold. However, the Midas Fly reigns supreme over its other kind in another way. It can grow up to 3 inches long, making it the largest of its species. These insects are mostly found in North America and thrive in a wide variety of habitats with temperate climate. Much like the common house fly, they're predominantly dark tan or black, but may have orange bands or stripes on their abdomen. Despite their size, they're known to be fast flyers, even if they appear to be clumsy floating in the air. These giants begin their life as tiny larvae hatched from eggs commonly laid near rotting or dead wood in the forest. They spend a year in their larval stage feeding on small bugs and other insects found in the dirt around their homes. Adults may feed on insects, but they largely prefer nectar and pollen from flowers and plants around their habitat, acting as nature's pollinators. Midas flies are harmless creatures and don't have any means to attack those who provoke it. However, their size and coloration makes them appear similar to tarantula hawk wasps. They've also adopted a form of wasp mimicry to help deter predators. This is done by arching their abdomen towards the threat, followed by repeated jabs of the tip to mimic a mock stinging movement. One can only imagine a swarm of these frightening large flies buzzing around their home. But fortunately, their feeding and reproductive preferences mean they won't be infesting human dwellings anytime soon. Queen Alexandria's Birdwing 
In 1906, naturalist Albert Meek chanced upon a bird-sized butterfly during one of his walks in the rainforest of Papua New Guinea. He named it after the then ruling Queen of England, which was an apt name for what turned out to be the largest of its kind in the entire world. Queen Alexandria's bird wing has a wingspan of up to one foot and is found in small numbers in the rainforest it was discovered in. They are strong flyers and are capable of fluttering about at high altitudes over long distances. Females are the larger species and have cream-colored bodies and large brown wings with white spots or triangles. The smaller males have more interesting coloration with bright yellow bodies and shimmering emerald wings with black stripes. Similar to other butterflies, the bird wing uses its snout-like proboscis to feed on nectar from plants. It's a very picky eater, however, only feeding on three species of pipe vine plant. Adults also lay their eggs on the same plant, ensuring a constant food source for their offspring. The pipe vine is poisonous to vertebrates, which prevents predators from feeding on the eggs. These hatch into the insect's larval form, a caterpillar covered with bright-tipped spikes which contain poison absorbed from its plant home. This provides the juvenile an effective defense against predators during the early part of its life cycle, where it molts a total of six times before its pupil and adult stage. Adult bird wings have few natural predators, owing to their size and flight capability. They're hunted only by animals that can reach them, such as larger birds and gliding mammals. This majestic insect's numbers continues to dwindle in the wild because of hunters and the continued destruction of their habitat. The Weta The country of New Zealand is home to an insect that you might not have heard of, yet is probably one of the oldest ones around. This cricket-like insect is called a Weta, and they are notable for growing to huge sizes. The giant Weta can reach 4 inches in length, not including legs and antennae, and can weigh as much as 72 grams. That's pretty heavy. Three times heavier than the common house mouse, actually. The Weta size stems from its long-time status as a predator and decomposer after the dinosaurs went extinct. While mice and other rodents exploded in population in most of the Earth's connected landmasses, New Zealand, split from the mainland, did not follow this evolutionary route. Instead, the Weta thrived and even evolved into flying, tree-dwelling, and even subterranean species. These insects were essential to the ecosystem and were even seed propagators for certain flora. Maori settlers in the 1300s unintentionally bought rats on their ships, which quickly became major predators of the Weta. The explosion of the rodent population that followed almost drove the insect to extinction, with their role in the food chain effectively taken over. In fact, they were thought to be extinct until 1962, when a few specimens were discovered hiding in a thorny bush. Since then, efforts have been made to recreate and preserve sanctuaries for the few species that remain. However, the biggest hurdle remains to be a lack of awareness and funding. Wetas are described as hideous, which hampers their marketability, despite their endangered status. But countrywide outreach programs have been instrumental in spreading the word and increasing public support of the conservation of this ancient insect. Giant Burrowing Cockroach Cockroaches are one of the nastiest pests known to mankind. Thankfully, the giant burrowing cockroach chooses to walk a different path, even if their size makes them absolutely terrifying. Endemic to Australia, these roaches grow up to three inches long, almost as big as the palm of your hand. Fortunately for us, they don't have wings, so you can put those giant flying roach nightmares to rest. As their name suggests, they dig burrows in the soil measuring up to one meter deep using their spade-like legs, and in males, a scoop-like appendage on top of their heads as well. Wings are unnecessary for these nocturnal creatures, as most of their life is spent underground. They only leave their burrow at night to gather food from the forest floors, with twigs, dry leaves, and pieces of bark also being collected and brought to their underground lairs, where they feed in relative peace and safety. They also have a preference for eucalyptus leaves, much like their fellow Aussie native, the koala. This feeding practice makes this species a key player in the ecosystem. The insect's leaf litter is converted back into soil. Giant burrowing cockroaches also have the rare distinction of birthing live young. Females give birth to a clutch of up to 30 juveniles, which are nurtured and fed in the same underground chamber. These roaches generally lead solitary lives, only leaving the burrow to feed her mate. Once they're old enough, they will leave the family home and venture out to dig burrows of their own. While these species are known to hiss when threatened, they're actually quite harmless and move about relatively calmly instead of scurrying about. Coupled with the fact that they're clean, require little maintenance, and can live up for 10 years, these gentle giants are a tough choice for one's first exotic pet. Hercules Beetle In a group of exceptionally large insects referred to as rhinoceros beetles, Hercules beetles reign supreme. They are the largest in their order, and like the Greek god they're named after, they're incredibly powerful, able to carry 850 times their mass. These insects are supremely large, reaching total lengths upwards of 7 inches long. 
Male specimens are known for having unique horn-like pincers, which can sometimes be longer than their actual body length. These imposing appendages are mainly used for fighting with other male beetles. Females don't have horns, but are nevertheless still huge, averaging at about 2.4 inches in length. Hercules beetles can be found in tropical jungles and rainforests from North to South America. The first few years of their lives as larvae and pupae are spent in burrows underground. Adults then emerge from the ground the following spring season with the sole mission to reproduce. Females begin to release pheromones the instant it emerges, attracting nearby adult males. If faced with competition, males will spar in an extremely physical contest, which frequently involves the victor lifting the opponent with his horns before slamming it into the ground. After successfully mating, the females burrow into the ground to lay eggs and the cycle begins anew. Despite their size and power, Hercules beetles are not known to use their horns as defense from predators. They avoid predation mainly by hiding under logs or in vegetation during the day. They only really come out at night to feed on their preferred diet of both fresh and rotten fruit. If provoked, they will emit a loud hissing noise produced by rubbing their bellies against the covers of their wings. As a last resort, they can escape dangerous situations by flying away, albeit with little efficiency. Hercules beetles are docile towards humans and will not attack them using their horns. Their calm demeanor and unique appearance makes them a popular pet, despite having an adult lifespan of only a few short months. The Giant Walking Stick Walking sticks are insects that resemble the shape and color of sticks, twigs, or small tree branches, which are evolutionary traits designed to avoid predators. The largest of the species in North America, aptly named the giant walking stick, is considered the longest insect on the continent. These insects are popularly known for their camouflaging ability. When a predator approaches the walking stick, it remains very still to avoid detection. Stealth and concealment among the foliage are their only form of defense, as they're very slow walkers and, with the exception of one species, do not possess the ability to fly or really defend themselves too much. Giant walking sticks can measure up to 7 inches long. Their color can vary from greenish to tan to a reddish brown. They're commonly found in the woods and grasslands of the southern part of the U.S., feeding on foliage around their environment. In populated areas near their habitats, there have been reports of this large insect feeding on household plants. Outbreaks have occurred in the Wachita Mountains of Arkansas and Oklahoma, where whole plants and even entire park trees have been stripped clean by displaced swarms. Aside from the occasional pest problem, these herbivores pose no threat to humans. This makes them popular indoor pets where they're commonly housed in small terrariums to avoid them from infesting other plants. While they are low maintenance and can be left unattended for days, their fragile bodies must still be handled with care when picked up or moved around. Atlas Moth The Atlas Moth is one of the biggest insects in the world. Found in the jungles of South and Southeast Asia, this bird-sized bug is known for its foot-long wingspan and their incredibly short lives as an adult. A fully grown Atlas Moth is known to measure up to 12 inches across, giving it a total surface area of 60 square inches. They're also the heaviest moth species, reaching close to 30 grams on the scale. Their wings are predominantly reddish-brown, with black, white, or purple lines. These wings are also known for having various geometric patterns with black borders, which resemble snake heads, especially when in motion. When threatened, an atlas moth will drop down on the ground and begin to flap its wings, imitating the motion of a snake that's about to strike. One curious omission in the adult moth's anatomy is their lack of a proboscis or mouth. Once they break out of their cocoons, the atlas moth has no way of feeding and must successfully reproduce before starving to death. They're frequently hunted by predators with ease as they're either weak from hunger or will stay still to conserve their energy for the act of mating. Adult atlas moths will live anywhere from three days to about two weeks before they succumb to starvation. Its exact lifespan depends on how much it ate in its previous life as a caterpillar. This is why Atlas caterpillars are frequently seen consuming large quantities of food in preparation for its future life as a moth. They're not picky eaters either, and will feast on leaves of just about any evergreen tree in its habitat. Humans are attracted to these moths for reasons other than their size and unique attributes. In India, their brown wool-like silk is prized for its supposed greater durability. While in Taiwan and Thailand, their cocoons are harvested and turned into leather wallets, which are popular amongst locals. Giant Waterbug Many of the giant bugs on this list are generally harmless and only attack when provoked. Not the giant waterbug, though. In addition to their humongous size, they're known to be voracious and aggressive predators in their shallow, watery habitats. The great waterbug is commonly found hiding in streams and stagnant ponds all over Southeast Asia. Their main attack involves biting prey with their giant pincers, followed by a dose of venomous saliva. The bite itself isn't painful, but the non-fatal venom triggers excruciating pain and mild paralysis on larger animals, humans included. 
As their name suggests, these insects excel at hunting underwater. Their powerful front legs are designed to grab prey, while the hind pair resemble boat paddles which give it excellent aquatic mobility. This effective predator feeds on insects, tadpoles, salamanders, and even small frogs and fish. When faced by a larger threat, some species play dead, while others emit an odorous fluid that confuses the attacker. Nicknamed the Toe Biter, this insect has been reported to bite unsuspecting humans who wander too close to its aquatic habitat. Still, it's our species that are the real predators. The water bug is considered a delicacy in South and Southeast Asia, where they're enjoyed as barbecued snacks. Giant Malaysian Katydid The giant Malaysian katydid is considered by many to be the largest insect in the world. Not only does this species grow up to 6 inches in length, it can also grow its wingspan to upwards of 10 inches across. This species is characterized by its large antennae and extremely long legs. The hind legs of this katydid are designed for jumping, with their extended length reaching up to 3 inches. Their body color consists of different shades of green to help facilitate camouflage. They also develop wings resembling leaves from a shrub to complete the look. Like other species of katydid, the males also produce a loud, high-pitched noise which serves as a mating call. Fully grown giant katydids have a couple ways of defending themselves against predators. Their first instinct is to stay still in an attempt to blend in with their environment. If this doesn't work, they'll jump and fly away. But its best defense is to not be around during the daytime. This nocturnal insect feeds mainly on vegetation, but occasionally will feast on small insects and grubs as well. Despite their frightening size and carnivorous tendencies, they're actually docile and pose no threat to humans. In fact, they actually make great pets, as long as their housing and feeding requirements are met. Wallace's Giant Bee The world's largest bee also happens to be the most elusive. Discovered by Russell Wallace in 1859, it was never seen again and was thought to be extinct until 1981, where it was spotted by an entomologist in Indonesia. Wallace's giant bee grows up to an inch and a half long, with a wingspan of two and a half inches. It has large mandibles which are used not for defense but for home building. The bee uses these sharp appendages to burrow inside the nest of tree-dwelling termites where it uses sticky resin to build rooms for its young. This curious act of cohabitation serves to conceal the bee's presence from predators. Female specimens are much larger than males, and the latter also lacks the large mandibles used for nesting. Their purpose seems to be to protect the female and the offspring, as they've been observed to be territorial around wasp burrows. After 1981, sightings once again ceased, and the bee was again feared to have gone extinct. But just as some entomologists were about to give up hope, in 2018, a live specimen was reportedly sold to a private collector for 9100 bucks. A few months later, a second specimen was sold to another collector for 4150 these sales are not illegal by international standards, as the bee is not covered by existing rulings on the trade of endangered species. But in Indonesia, these hunts should not have happened, as local laws dictate that exporting these specimens are against the law. This makes the appearance of these bees on auctions and fetching exorbitant prices a serious cause for concern. Besides illegal hunting, Wallace's giant bee is also threatened by deforestation and the rapid urbanization and the development of the insect's habitat. Entomologists hope that continued research on this insect's behavior will allow us to better understand and preserve the few specimens left in the wild. See you all next time!